Hey guys, what is up? Stick Boy here, back again for another reaction. And before you take that link, because I know that some of you are starting to do that right now, I just want to clear a few things up, uh, go over a few things before we go into this reaction. Um, first of all, Happy Easter, because I have a feeling that this is going to be going out on Easter. Um, this is, of course, my reaction to the movie Encanto. And I actually watched this movie a couple of weeks ago, and this so this is one of the first times, one of the few times that I do, I'm doing an intro video after the fact, after I've already recorded my reaction. Um, but I'm doing it because there were some things that I wanted to go over, some things about the actual reaction that I wanted to go over. Um, the first of which is that uh, you'll notice that I've done some remodeling in here, some redecorating. Um, it's actually a lot more than you can see right here. Um, there's a whole new desk and stuff down here with the keyboard and everything that, you, that make things a lot easier and then uh, some stuff back behind uh, where the camera's pointing. So uh, as a result, um, this was all bare. There's not much here. Um, and then my humidifier that I have over there, I had to move it over to this side and it's close to the microphone and I didn't realize how much noise it made, um, how much it picked up on the mic, so um, it's kind of a ambient white noise that, that kind of drowns out a little bit of the dialogue that you're hearing in the actual movie. Um, I don't know if I could have turned the volume up a little bit on the movie, if that would have made any difference, but I didn't want to drown out my voice too much. So hopefully that's not too overwhelming for you guys. Um, it is what it is. It, it won't happen again. It's Everything's set up now. You can tell now that there's not any background noise or not a lot of background noise. So uh, that shouldn't be a problem moving forward. But it's something that I wasn't aware of until I watched the thing back. And there's not really much I could do about it because my reaction was already captured. So um, about the movie, really loved this movie. Um, but it was pretty uh, detailed. There's a lot of details that I think... I've watched it four or five more times since I did my reaction, and there's certainly a lot of things that I didn't catch on the first reaction. So there's stuff that you're probably going to be yelling t at me about in the comments that, that I either missed or didn't catch or, or got wrong. Um, one of those being at the very beginning when uh, Abuela was talking about the people being magic, the family uh, getting magic powers, from the from the flame from the miracle, um, I completely missed the part about the house itself being alive. So when we got into the movie and I see like you know the shoes moving and, and getting on their feet and stuff like that, I I just assumed that the family members, since they were magic, that they were able to just move things around like that. Um, so I kind of thought of them as being kind of telekinetic. So. Um, it took about 30 minutes before it started to sink in that we actually were dealing with a sentient house, that, that it wasn't Mirabel doing this, and it wasn't Abuela doing this, although there was one moment where Abuela, uh, where at that dinner, where uh, Mirabel was trying to ask Luisa about uh, if she was nervous about the magic, and, and uh, her chair just like, went away and came up to where Abuela was. I was like, did, I, did Abuela do that? Did she, did she uh, control that? Even though even though by that point I had kind of figured that the house was sentient. There, there was, But um, another thing was when uh, we were back there in Bruno's little hideout, um, I was really focused on what he had to do with the actual plot of the movie, what he was going to contribute to the actual end game, because we had been, been hearing about him so much throughout the movie, and now we're finally meeting him, and I'm like, okay, dude, what's going on? What what is it that you're, uh, what is it that you're going to do here? Because I know you're fixing to play a really important part. I completely missed the way his actual hideout was set up, the way his table. I saw the. The, the little table with the plate drawn that said Bruno, but I what I didn't notice until the second time was that it was butted up against the same wall as the kitchen, so it looked like he was part of the table. He could see through that little crack, and so he was kind of eating 
dinner with the family with his plate, even though they didn't know he was there, which was really sad, really kind of messed up. So um, that's something I didn't notice. But um, yeah, the more I watch this movie, the more fun I have with it. And the more, uh, it's just a really pretty movie, really pretty animation, really good music. And it's one that I'm going to remember for a long time. It's not one that I'm just going to like forget about and not come back to. So uh, hope you guys have as much fun with it as I did. Um, and that's about all I got to say. So, uh, yeah, take the uh, link right down there in the, right down there in the description. I'm going to get used to this new setup, um, eventually, but, uh, yeah, link right down there in the description. It'll take you over to OneDrive. It'll take you over to my reaction. If you enjoy it, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and, uh, I will see you guys there.